guest was born and bred in the, in our hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where he earned all city honors in three different sports. Um, he went on to shine as a running back slash receiver at Michigan State University. He was drafted 12th overall in 1961 by the great Vince Lombardi in the Green Bay Packers, where he would switch to cornerback due to a backfield crowded with legends and an injured teammates. The rest, my friends, was history. When asked what he admired about her, Hall of Fame cornerback Mel Renfo replied, I admired his play, and I kind of tried to think like him and get my own interceptions. When I saw him on film, the thing I noticed about her was uh, his ability to take advantage of a quarterback's weakness. As a matter of fact, he took advantage of quarterback's weaknesses for 12 years to the tune of 48 interceptions, seven touchdowns, five Pro Bowls, seven All-Pro teams, six NFL championships, including three Super Bowls, and an induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. When asked to describe him, Mel Renfro said, They call him shutdown cornerbacks these days. Herb was that kind of guy. All right, but I know y'all tired of me talking, so without further ado, we'd like to welcome into the war room for the very first time, Mr. Herb Adderley. Hey, Herb, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you very much. Yes, sir, I'm here. No problem. This is Devin. How you How you doing? Okay, Devin. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Um, we just we, we're glad that we that we got you on tonight. We got your Green Bay Packers in the Super Bowl this Sunday. Uh, we're gonna see what they can do. So, Akil, you are gonna take it away? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Herb, glad to have you on the show. Uh, shout out to the uh, Livingston and Adderley family and uh, Kai Adderley. Uh, Philly track legend for making this happen. Now, you hold several distinctions for being the first or only player to do certain things in the NFL. You also hold several distinctions for being the first or only player to do certain things out of the great athletes from Philly. Now, can you name some of those things for our audience? Oh, okay. Hey, uh, first of all, thank you guys uh, for having me on, and thanks to my nephew, Kai. And, uh, I appreciate it. I don't usually do shows, number one, and uh, I'm delighted to do this with you guys, and hopefully it, you know, it helped to get some ratings or whatever you're trying to do. Oh. And uh, I, I noticed the introduction being from Philly. Yep, Philly's my hometown, and I attended Northeast High School, the old Northeast at 8th and Lehigh, and uh, Central High School was the other all-boys high school, and they were our competitive uh, school. Uh, Northeast was all-boys, Central was all-boys. The only thing that Central beat us in was intelligence. They had smarter guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, getting back to your question, uh, you want to know the first things that I that happened to me? Like uh, I was the first uh, African American drafted by Vince Lombardi, the great Vince Lombardi in the Green Bay Packers in 1961. Wow! And the executive board. Uh, said to Lombardi after he drafted me, he said, why are you drafting a black player number one? Because you can wait until the fourth or fifth round to get him. So Lombardi's answer to the executive committee was, I'm not drafting color. I'm drafting athletes and football players and stay the hell out of it. And uh, that settled that right then, you know. Then a couple years later, uh, he drafted another African-American, Big Dave Robinson from Penn State, number one. So, and uh, Big Dave should be in the Hall of Fame because he's one of the greatest linebackers to ever play in the NFL. Uh, that was the first thing, our first draft choice. And I was also the the first uh, black player that played for Lombardi to be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And that was in 1980. And I'd also like to say there are five uh, of us on defense that's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Uh, Ray Nitschke, uh was the first guy. I was the second. Willie Davis was the third. Uh, the great Willie Wood, free safety, was the fourth. And a guy by the name of Henry Jordan, the tackle, was the fifth. And we also had five guys on offense that made the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And I'm saying this because I played among some great players. And uh, making the Pro Football Hall of Late Fame was a highlight. But there were some guys on my team who were MVPs in the league, MVPs in the uh, uh, Super Bowl. And I never got one vote. For you know MVP in the league or the Super Bowl, I'm talking about Bart Starr, uh, quarterback Paul Horning, 
uh, Jimmy Taylor, the two running backs, and mm-hmm. uh, Forrest Gregg. Uh, he's a tackle, and Lombardi said that Forrest Gregg was the greatest player that he ever coached. And also we had a center by the name of Jim Ringo, and he's in the Hall of Fame. So we had 10 of us in the Hall of Fame off of those great Lombardi teams. So I feel very privileged to have been one of those, uh, you know, selected. Uh, I was the first. Wow. Kuwait is the war room with five nights at the round table, five Philly guys diversified and educated. 